What's going on, people? I want to speak briefly on this situation ship with Hassan Campbell. Now, a lot of people have their opinions on whether Hassan Campbell was shot or whether he wasn't shot. Um, I personally believe that he was shot. I also believe, too, that he was warned before he was shot. He didn't see it coming. Now, before I get started, I want to say that, excuse the way I sound because I have some Visalign's in my mouth and it's making me sound kind of lispy, right? Not only that, last night I went to the skating ring for the first time in over 30 years, okay? Now, my mind was still telling me that I was a good skater because I've never failed. I never hit the floor until last night. And when I hit the floor and I went to catch myself, I sprained my wrist. Now, I'm going to use this situation with what Hassan Campbell is dealing with. Okay. Now, how does this link between Hassan Campbell and me spraining my wrist? It's not so much as me spraining my, my wrist. It was the thought I had before I put them skates on. Now, before I put them skates on, I used their skates. So the skates were a little different, felt different because I didn't have my skates because my skates are now too small. I can't wear them, so I'm going to have to buy another pair, right? Not only that, the skating ring floor is not a wood floor. And it's different than the floors that I've been on. It, it's like real slippery, you know. So as soon as you put those skates on, you're like about to fall. And there was a lot of people that were falling last night. Okay. But in my mind, I thought I can just put those skates on and go out on the floor. And things will be as they were over 30 years ago. But I had to actually sit there and practice a little bit before I got on the floor. And then I kept going out and I'll come back and I'll go out again just to try to get used to it again. Because my mind was telling me, yes, but my body. <laughs> so, so my mind was telling me that I still knew how to skate like I did over 30 years ago. I mean, I skate backwards, splits, do it all that, all that stuff, man. But last night, and I heard the guy on the DJ was saying, all new beginners go to the center of the floor, right? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I'm not a novice. I'm not a new beginner, right? I know how to skate, but it's been over 30 years. Now, Hassan Campbell, in his mind, he still thinks that he's a street dude. He thinks he's a gangster. Not taking, not taking anything away from what he experienced in life. Okay, not taking nothing away from the brother, right? As a matter of fact, I like Hassan Campbell. I just think that um, he's suffering from a lot of mental health issues, PTSD, um, depression, um, a lot of stuff that he's dealing with a lot that was not taken care of, okay? Um, I believe that he may have multiple personality disorders because in one instance, he's Assange Campbell, and then he's Poppy, okay? And he even said in this video, and I'm not going to play the whole video, okay? But even in this video, he kept saying, I'm Poppy. This is Poppy speaking, right? The Hassan Campbell dude is, like, smart, real nice. So I think there's, there's a lot that's going on to him, and there's people that's making fun. It's entertaining to him. And I understand that in this time, we're living in times, man, where it's, where it's really hard to tell what's real and what's fake because you have so many people that's doing skit videos, they're doing prank videos, and you really don't know what's real or what's fake. But in his mind, he still thinks that he's of the street, and he's not. I could not understand for the life of me why this dude would leave his nice home. He's got a nice home with a pond in the backyard with fish, you know, little creatures. And he left that just to go into the hood on Sunday morning and disturb the peace. 
he got what he was asking for. And I really don't think he was expecting that. So there's people that are saying that, you know, he had a death wish and he was, no, because if you look at the very end of that video, which I'm, I'm about to play, and I'm going to show you something that maybe a lot of people really didn't see in that video. But right in the end, he was trying to get to the hospital quickly with the quickness. He didn't want to die. He was trying to get to the hospital because that bullet was burning him. Okay. And I do believe that he was shot. Okay. And just by his facial expression, his eyes, they say your eyes are the windows to your soul. But in his eyes, Hassan Campbell wasn't there. Okay. He wasn't there at all. This is his other personality that he's dealing with. Okay. But this is fair use. I want to show you guys something where the dude that stopped in the back, he was trying to warn him. Another thing I want to say too is back when Hassan Campbell was in the street, I'm sure cell phones did not exist. Because I remember when pages, before cell phones came, there were pages, beepers, right? Now, people, the ones that he was calling out, they were throwing bottles at him and he was telling him to come outside. They don't have to come outside. All they have to do is get on the phone and call somebody in another building and come and catch you from a different angle. And that's what I believe happened. Somebody made a phone call and somebody came from a different angle. But the dude that's standing out there warned him. He didn't see that coming because right when the dude told him to walk away and Hassan was like, I see him, but he didn't see him. And then the dude looked and then Hassan turned around and looked. And the first thing Hassan said was, who's that? Then the camera went blank. But when he moved, you can see these two hoods coming. These two thugs wearing all black. See? So, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to try to stop the video right at that point. But you can see him coming from the back. So, he was warned. Okay? Another thing, too, I want to say before I get to this video. Is that he's claiming that that's his hood. He owns that, right? And I used to hear dudes saying that coming up, man, but you don't have no deeds to no property, no nothing, man. You got dudes that's talking about this my spot, this my hood. You don't own nothing in the hood, bro. You may claim it, but you don't owe, own anything in the hood. Not only that, you may leave the hood like Hassan Campbell did. When you come back to the hood, there's different people. It's different. There's different rules to the game. You know, so he came back with that old school mentality. Right. And when he came back, he may know a few older cats in that building. But another generation is coming up now that you don't know and that don't know you. They might have heard stories of you, might have watched your video on YouTube, but they don't know you. Right. So they don't have that love in their heart like maybe somebody in the past did. All right. So that's how it is when it came to my wrist being sprained. My mind was telling me that I can do it. But when I put those skates on, I was like a novice, you know, and that's how this was Hassan. His mind was telling him that he still owned that area, that he still controlled that. And then some young dudes came up from a different angle and shot him. And he was trying to save his life. Take the second exit on Westchester Avenue. I need to get to the hospital quick. Just a roundabout, take the second exit on Westchester Avenue. In a quarter of a mile, turn left on Westchester Avenue. Now, leave him. Come on, go, go. I got you. Go straight. Go straight. I need to get to the hospital. I'm I got shot, you, son. I'm going to get you the ambulance. Red light camera. That's what dude got shot, so... I believe it happened. I just think that Hassan Campbell's, um, I think he's got a host of issues. You know, he needs some serious help. As a matter of fact, that brother needs a mentor, man. He needs a mentor. Yes, he's an adult. He's a grown man. Um, I hear that he may be in his 50s. 
But dude needs a mentor, man, because he needs a mentor that's not going to judge him. Okay, that's not going to judge him. That's going to point fingers on him. That's going to um, broadcast him all over, you know, the Internet. You know, he needs somebody. And to this day and time, man, it's hard to trust people, man. Right. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's real? Feedback and tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.